Right now, I'm in Prague, Czech Republic, and I'm gonna show you what it's like to travel here on $50 a day versus $500 a day. And I'll let you decide which is better. Prague is my favorite city in the world. It's the city that ignited my love for travel. It's where I was first introduced to new cultures and experiences, and it will always be my home away from home. The Czech capital has all the amenities that you can find in Western Europe, but with a culture and a vibe of Eastern Europe. That is the reason why it's so unique. You will instantly fall in love with the cobblestone streets, the medieval architecture highlighted by the world's oldest castle, and the abundance of charming cafes that are all centered around the Old Town Square. Miraculously, the city is so clean, even though there's so many tourists here, because these amazing ladies clean the city all day long. It's amazing. I'm gonna take a free walking tour right now. So basically, you meet with the tour guide, you walk around the city for free, they explain stuff, and then you give them a tip if you like it. And they're all over Europe. At 10 o'clock is when the free walking tour starts every day. This is one of the best things to do if you're, if you're on a budget and you're traveling in Europe, any city, you just go to freewalkingtours.com and you can find a guy that's gonna show you the city for free. See this uh, Stone Bell House. Stone Bell House is uh, one of the oldest properties on the square. I'm gonna give him a nice little tip for his time. We didn't say the whole time, so I think this is appropriate. Cheers, man, okay. thanks. Well, now I feel enlightened about Prague and uh, we're gonna go get some beer because that's what you do in Czech. You drink beer. I found this little dive bar here slash restaurant called Restaurante u Schweika. And they probably have really cheap beer, but it's cool. You have the apartment complex, you got people hanging their clothes on the balconies and right underneath is the restaurant. Let's, let's check it out. One cuttle, please. The new Czech beer I haven't heard of. The way she pours beer is like an art form. It's like perfect every time in the cup. It's like 11 a.m. right now. <laughs> There's like four or five people sitting in here just drinking their beer. Cheers. Nastravi. Mmm. It has kind of a fruity taste fruitier than most. Beer in the Czech Republic is literally cheaper than water. If I ordered water right now, it would be like two or three euros for the same amount. So. <laughs> no, it's okay. Dobrze. For the record, this is just happening in real life. This is not planned. Beer? I buy you one beer. Okay? So. You speak English? No. <laughs> What's your favorite Czech beer? Pilsner. Pilsner. The best. Did you know that the Czech people drink more beer than any other culture, country in the world? <laughs> I mean, in, in, in the US, like, no one really would drink beer in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious why you sat right next to me because there's so many tables open. So like, why would you come here? And just curious why you sat next to me. Oh, this table. Okay. I sat at your table. I believe it too. How many beers do you drink in one day? Yet? Four or five beers. <laughs> For lunch. <laughs> I finished before you, and I'm not Czech. <laughs> okay, not Serbi. We are in uh, Prague One, which is the beating soul of Prague, just north of Old Town Square. I want to get some local Czech food, the cheapest food I can find. And my buddy told me that there's a Czech restaurant here called U Rozvazilu. Rozvazilu. Yeah. Czech is a weird language. And so uh, I think it's in this building, so I'm gonna go check it out and get some food. This R is an only Czech thing. It's pronounced J. Interesting. Hard to say it. it. Took me 10 years to figure it out. This is super local. I feel like I'm in like elementary school getting <laughs> getting lunch. This is as Czech as it gets, literally. Oh, oh, oh. 
Speak salad. Yeah. I got my svechkova, which is, this is the most Czech food you can get. It's basically pieces of beef and this soupy thing with these like, I don't even, this is technically bread maybe, but it's like squishy texture. So basically what you do, there's a couple things you can do. You can just take a piece of the meat first, kind of dip it in the sauce like this. It's kind of sweet, sweet and savory at the same time. Really tough, tough meat um, when you mix it in the sauce. Kind of like a soup almost. And you can also take the bread, or kanizaki as I call it, and just kind of dip it in. For five bucks, this is, this is pretty good. Try the salad. Kind of like a Greek style salad. Cheese on top, peppers and cucumber. Damn it, I got sparkling water. <laughs> Every time. You always have to ask if you want still or sparkling, because in Europe they love sparkling water. Not my favorite. <laughs> so far, I've spent just $11 on a walking tour, a beer, and lunch, and I still have 39 bucks left to spend on this $50 challenge. The best is yet to come. And we move onwards. These columns are really cool. Definitely makes you feel like communism was here at one point. Like you see that in all of Eastern Europe, those kind of pillars. This is kind of the lesser visited side of Prague, even though we're really close to the heart of the city. Most tourists don't go like north and east of the river. They kind of stay central or go south. What do you like about Prague? The food, the culture, the people, the beer. <laughs> I've never met a Czech person that doesn't like beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. it was nice meeting you. Good to meet you too, bro. There's a stereotype that Czech people don't smile and they're unfriendly. It is true that they don't smile, but once you speak to them, they're friendly and they're, they're amazing people, really. It makes me feel so good to see the support for Ukraine around Prague and everywhere in Europe. I made my way by foot to the famous 14th century Charles Bridge. We are approaching the famous Charles Bridge, one of the oldest constructed bridges in the world. And there's a beautiful little structure that you walk through to get to the bridge. And this is tourist haven. If you notice, like we started walking across the city in the less touristy part, there was no one around. And we just walked for like 15 minutes and now we're slammed. Good to meet you, man. Good to see you. Take care. You know, even though it's so touristy here, they've still done a pretty good job of making it charming and authentic and these beautiful statues that are super old. Like this one in front of us has Jesus Christ on the cross with Hebrew under him. This is it, man. This is my favorite city in the world where it all began 10 years ago when I studied abroad. Exactly 10 years ago, I was living here as a 20 year old. Couldn't even legally like drink in America and then I come here and have the most wildest experience of my life. And I fell in love with the city and then I kept traveling and eventually went to every country and, and now I'm back spending a few months here and I really think it's the best in the world. I mean, it's, it's, it's big but it's small. So you can literally walk across the city in like 30 minutes or an hour, you can literally make a loop, maybe one hour. You can make a loop around the whole city. And if there's anything you take away from this video, come to Prague and you will see how amazing this place is. If you want to do Prague on a budget, you got to take a tram. They're amazing, they're old and historic and beautiful and it costs like a dollar to ride them. So I'm going to take it to the other side of town. So let's get on one right now. Boom. And not to mention the whole city is connected by tram, like super easy to get around. And for about a dollar, I don't have accommodations tonight. You know, staying on $50 a day, I'm gonna find a hostel, which is basically a cheap accommodation, like dormitory, fun place where you can meet young travelers and party. I'm not necessarily a young traveler anymore. I, uh, the last time I stayed in a hostel, I was probably 24. Now I'm 31, but let's do it. Okay, we have made it to Ahoy Hostel. For Ahoy Hostel, press the buzzer, wait for the answer, and push the door, please. Welcome. Maybe it's just because it's like afternoon, so it's dead. But some cool vibes in here. Is the name under it? Did you have a reservation? No. Oh, you're just a happy walk-in. I'm a walk-in. We have no available rooms. You're lying. You don't have any beds open? Well, that was a failed attempt at one hostel, so now we must go to the next. The Madhouse Prague. Let's see if they have a bed. This looks fun. Oh yeah, dude, this one's vibing. Hi, how are you? How's it, how's it going? I watched you. Oh, cool. 
How you doing? Good, hi. Do you have any beds available? For tonight? Even in like the biggest dorm room. Actually, we I have one size left yes. tonight. <laughs> can I take it? Yeah, you can. Amazing. Alright. Oh, cool. So, it has all our info in there in case you need it. Address, phone number, blah, blah, blah. Nice. Also, so we know that you're a guest. Because people get too drunk and they're just like, oh, yeah. now I can see. <laughs> Wow. Legit. Thank you. Alright, Wi Fi password is on the desk. Tits on fire, it's fine as well. <laughs> and there's a beautiful painting of the woman as well. Oh, sweet. Okay, okay. You okay. To show you around. Okay, welcome to my house. Firstly, do you want a like, water, tea, tea, coffee? First beer is free. Oh, the first beer is free. I'll, I'll certainly have a beer. That's like a nice beer. Oh, yeah, it's a nice beer. Yeah. Mmm. Sviani. Not bad. I can't explain to you the feeling that I have to be inside of this hostel. It's like stepping in a time machine back to my college years. Welcome to Sin City. Wow. One, two, three are currently free. Like they won't eat tonight, but oh, I got you're, it. you're early checking in. What's better, top or bottom? The genuinely bottom bunk, for sure. Wow, I am completely reminded of all my hostel days in my early 20s. I kind of love it. Excited to meet some people, go out and party, and uh, live the Sin City life. All right, we are we are joining the pub crawl. First, they have an underground uh, karaoke, and then we're going to a club. Hi, love. Whoa, it's like the London Two. Smells like beer and frog. I literally feel like I'm 20 years old again, and it's amazing. All right, now we are all gonna flood the streets of Prague and walk to uh, one of my favorite clubs back in the day called Duplex. It's gonna be fun. Oh man, that was a super fun bar time. I drank a little more than I usually do. And I'm heading back to the hostel to take a rest and sleep. Hey guys, quick update. Today I launched a brand new product called Link by Just Go. It is a unisex charm bracelet with flags that celebrate your favorite countries, your ethnicity, or countries that you just love and support. We only have 500 bracelets available in this exclusive drop and it's first come first serve on the link in the description below. All right, let's get back to Prague. Good morning from Prague. It is a lovely day and it's a luxury day. I have a budget of 500 US dollars and I'm gonna see how I can enjoy the city with a huge budget and we're gonna start with taking an Uber ride to the other side of the city. Travel tip, take Uber when you can because regular taxis can be sketchy and especially here in Prague, they're known to rip you off and scam you. So take Uber. Four minutes away and the cost is 166 Czech crowns. Lovely then. That was easy. Many of you guys might know or not know that I collect paintings when I travel. And uh, here on Charles Bridge, they have some really nice paintings, so I'm gonna buy one. Not sure what it's gonna cost. This is the most iconic view. Yeah. for 50 or approximately 1,250. Can I pay 50 US dollars for this? 50 for yes, Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I have 50 dollars. There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Am I the first sale of the day? Yeah, first sale. The first Great. Sale. Good luck, bro. Cheers. See ya. Bye bye. $50 for a watercolor painting of Prague. Oh. I'm gonna put it in my house. Did you know that there's no ugly streets in Prague? Like every corner you turn, you just see phenomenal views. 
This is a lovely tourist market street in between Old Town Square and Wenceslas Square. You can buy fruits, vegetables, souvenirs, all kinds of good stuff. This one, please. And this one. And one clock. I think um, they're all the same price? Yeah, the same. Same size, same price. Okay. This one. This one. Perfect. Okay. Stand. Thank you so much. Thank Have a good day. Bye-bye. For accommodations, Deanna and I decided to go with Airbnb instead of a hotel because A, we have our dog with us, so it's easier. And B, it's kind of nice to live like a local. You actually feel like you're living in Prague. And so we are, I'm on the street of the Airbnb now. I'm going to go uh, go inside and give you guys a little quick tour. Buzzer. All right. This is the Airbnb. We got it for a few days here. It's pretty nice. It's a one bedroom. This is actually the main living room, but that is one bed that was turned into. And then over here, another bed. And we got a couch over here, TV. They don't have AC here in Prague because it's usually cold. So you just open up the windows and you can have this like window AC thing. Kitchen over here, fridge, oven, microwave, shower here. And then over here is the toilet. It's actually kind of nice that we have a washing machine unit. And then to dry the clothes, you actually use this. They don't have dryers in Prague or it's only for the ultra rich. Like nobody uses dryers here. What do you think about this Airbnb? Are you happy? Happy? It's not super expensive, it's not super cheap, somewhere right in the middle, and um, pretty comfortable. The coolest part about this Airbnb is the views outside. So you have this really European looking building here. There's a nice restaurant down there. And then, boom, that tower. It's time to eat, and there's no better ripoff in Prague than Old Town Square. I'm heading there right now. They have this old Prague ham stand. It's always been here for the last like 15 years. So on the sign it says 100 grams is 97 crowns and this was 184 crowns. Stop. So that is ridiculous. It's the smallest portion. New friends from Korea, Malaysia and Sweden. It says that 100 grams is 97 crowns but this is like 200 grams. So this, they, they trick you. It looks like you're only going to spend 97 crowns but this was like 200 crowns it is it's pretty good ham it is you see it like slow, slow cooking so the taste is good but it's expensive if you walk 10 minutes in any direction it'll be in the residential side everything in this area is crazy expensive it's not long ago I but this is pretty good though it's a good ham so the verdict is the ham was good but not worth the extreme prices Oh my god, this is our last day in Europe. This is probably the, even the best weather we've had on this whole trip. There's a bunch of cafes here lined up all throughout Old Town. We're gonna sit down at one and just people watch and enjoy. We potentially have the best people watching seat in this entire city, right here in front of the clock tower. Tourist Central. <laughs> Star Promen, one of the best. It's a Pilsner. In Prague, you gotta watch out for scams. And little did we know that we were about to be a victim of yet another scam. Hi guys, can you please smile for me? I'm taking a picture of all that. You work here? Yes. Cool. Sure. Right. Just turn to me, please. <laughs> Thank nice. you. It really is nice to sit here, to be honest. I don't know the price yet of this beer. I'm guessing it's 10 to $15. But this is what tourists do. Like, this is what my parents would do if they came here. This is what anyone would do. That's really smart to take pictures and then yeah. sell it to people. That's, but it's, it's only if they want. That's really smart of you guys. It's a, it's a good way to make extra money. So what's the cost? 300 crowns. For one? Just for one minute. I don't want anyone like you have this one. Okay, let's get the kissing one. I like yeah. the kissing no, one. I'll get the two. I don't no, just want to have the photo. What? What, what are you going to do with this if we don't buy it? What are you going to do with they it? They are recycled. Like in the trash? I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you want, you, we can make two for 500. Okay. No. That's fine. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> so if you'll notice, she was dressed as a waitress with the skirt pockets and wallet to collect the bill. But she's not affiliated with the restaurant. She straight up lied to me when I asked if she worked there. 
we got scammed. You know what, we're gonna put it on our fridge and remember the time that we sat here in front of the clock tower. That was 500 pounds, right? So that's about $25. You could fly from Prague to Krakow to Prague for that amount of money that we just spent to get the phone. 25, round yeah. trip? Yeah, it was $9 to fly to Krakow. How do you feel that we got scammed? <laughs> you, you literally asked her if she works here and there was a hesitation a little bit. Yeah. Said, uh, yeah. You work here? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, I work here. Two things I want to say. One, I respect the hustle. Everyone's got to make a buck. But number two, there are a lot of scams in Prague and not only Prague, around Europe. And you just got to be careful. If you're traveling here on a budget, you got to try to think logically and understand what's happening. She, she totally pranked me. I thought she actually worked here. So I fell for her scam. But now you know what it looks like and just be aware. She got another sale. She just made about $60 within 20 minutes. How much? $60, she, she sold multiple of them just now. That is insane. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, thanks man, appreciate it. All right, we are gonna take a horse ride around Old Town Square. Yeah, I want the old man. Yeah, the old man, he's cute. Hello, how much for like 15 minutes? 900 pounds. For 15 minutes? 15 minutes, 20 minutes minimum. Thank you. I'll go. I feel like a tourist right now. Ah, oh, what a great way to see Old Town Square when you can just sit and enjoy without moving your feet. The cool thing about riding on the horse is that it forces you to look up and see all the little details that you wouldn't normally see by walking. And there's so much symbolism in these buildings, like... So much symbolism, like Chanel and then Gaga. <laughs> there's little statues there's everywhere. Moa and Dolce and Gabbana. Like, look, at, look at that painting right there. I don't you never see the same thing twice. Thank you. Keep it, thank you. Good experience. Thousand crowns later, 40 bucks. I would do it again. Pretty cool way to see Prague, even though it's expensive. Travel tip, always carry small coins with you in Europe because when it comes to using public toilets, it ain't free. But you know what is free? My weekly email newsletter, which has exclusive travel tips, hacks, and updates in real time. Sign up now on the link in the description. The concept of paying to use the bathroom is pretty crazy for me as an American. We would never do that. But that's how it goes in Europe. Not only here, but everywhere. It's like a library, but for wine. It's a wine library. Prague has a lot of wine bars or wine caves like this one. You can see all the beautiful wine options. So we popped in here. We're gonna grab a quick glass. Oh, good sound. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm not a big wine drinker, but this, this is rosé champagne. You should try this, it's so good. Come on, that's very delicious. Oh, this is you. Yeah, I like sweet. I like sweet wines. I can, I can mess with this. I can with this. Beautiful, thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. We are heading to a Czech restaurant for dinner to meet our friend Yuri, who we met in Bangkok when we used to live there. I haven't seen him in many years since the, um, this festival in Slovakia, but we're gonna have a nice Czech meal for dinner. And he's from Slovakia, so it's kind of the same. What's up, Drew? Got him, Phil. Nice to meet you. What's up, man? Hi, Phil. Hello. Hello. Good Hello. to see you. We got straight for the hug. Good yeah, to see you, man. Seek this comfort. Seek this comfort. Hey. God, that feels good. So I'm saying this in back of the fingers. I'm convinced that this is the absolute best beer in the world. I'll have, um, please, uh, slowly braised smoked beef. What is that? It's a liver. That's if you liver? Want, do you want the gel? It's yeah. purple. It's the gel. Do you want the gel? Mm. It's like really tasty. Yeah. Like, you don't have to drop it. <laughs> like, like underground dating. Oh, good. 
We're about to go inside the bar at the Dancing House, which is this amazing, futuristic, modern architectural building in Prague, right on the river. Never been, first time. He likes the bar. <laughs> the view at the top of the Dancing House is magical. That's the Vltava River. It's the Prague Castle. We're at a bar in Prague, the Five Story Club, and right now robots are making our drinks. Check this out. Okay, I got a swimming pool, this drink. Oh yeah, swimming pool. Mine's being made right now. It's really good. You know, it's actually pretty good. You wouldn't know if a human made it or a robot. I would know if a robot made it because it wasn't shaped like that much, so there should be a foam. Like these are just like eyes, the guy put eyes on it. We're at the five story club. The second floor here is oldies and look at the dance floor. To wrap up this video, for the budget portion of $50 per day, I was able to get a walking tour, a Czech beer, a plate of Czech food, one tram ride, one hostel bed, and a pub crawl to all my favorite bars. And for the luxury $500 challenge, I was able to get an Uber ride, a painting, souvenirs at the market, an Airbnb apartment, one plate of ham, two scam photos, a beer and wine, one horse ride, a bathroom stop, two glasses of wine and cheese, a fancy dinner on the main square, and a night out at all my favorite clubs. All right, guys, so there you have it. Prague on $50 per day or $500 per day. And if you ask me which is better, definitely the budget option, which I hope gives you some inspiration to know that you can travel Europe on a budget for cheap. It's amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Prague is my absolute favorite in the world. And uh, with that all being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more epic travel stories from every country. Hit up my podcast called Roots of Humanity. And I also have a second YouTube channel where I share more unseen travel stories. Until next time, stay safe, be well, and just go.